Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and today we are going to explore the Atlas Stationaire First Hollywood subscription box for three full bottles of ink. This is a monthly subscription box that you can choose or select from their site and they will send you three random full bottles of ink. So you saw me at the very beginning unboxing the box I received for June, which is their very first month with this subscription box. And for the very first month, they mentioned on their social media pages that they are going to have an additional bottle of ink that is still um, of the same price. So these are the bottles up here. We are going to swatch them on my coloring, which I don't use uh, very often. But I need to start because I have quite a collection of inks that I am very disorganized with and I need to um, get organized. <laughs> I love how people are so organized with their ink swatching and all the inks that they do have. Um, so I need to get on the bandwagon, I feel like, to really know which inks I um, I truly have I do I have not actually you know purchased an ink that I already owned which is great I do have like a pretty good idea of the inks that I own but um there may possibly be a case where I might have duplicates because now I'm subscribed to my personal first subscription box for inks so this is not only a first for Atlas Stationaire uh, for this particular subscription box, but it's also a first for me. And so we'll see how this goes. Okay, so that's some of the supplies. I have my inks, ink bottles laid out here. I haven't taken it out of the actual packaging yet. Um, I do have my dip pen um, from Amazon and then my Kakimori, uh, and Kakimori with the brass nib pen. I have some water and a paintbrush. I kind of want to try to see how it looks when I swatch the ink on the cards with the paintbrush. And I also have this um, is the onion skin paper notebook and I am going to swatch the inks out on here as well. So I'm just going to keep that on my side and let's get started. So the first one is Monteverde USA. I only have one other Monteverde ink and it is like their burgundy ink. Um, I don't know. I just feel like Monteverde inks are kind of plain Janes. So I never really revisited them. But <clears throat> if this ink intrigues me, I definitely will. Um, I'm not really sure what color this is. It doesn't really say. It has the names of the bottles, I guess. I'm not sure if the color is the color of the animal or what. So I guess we'll, we'll see. I'm guessing that's the color you're going to get um, with the animal in the picture. So this is a 30 ml bottle. And yes, it is blue. So let's, I'm not quite sure how I want to write this down, but we're just gonna go for it. So, Monteverde, USA, Zebra, I guess. <laughs> Okay, and then let's get a paintbrush 
and put this on the edge. And then let's go this way. All right, so rinse that off. And actually, this is a really pretty blue. I like, I'm realizing how much I am in this phase of darker blues to where they're almost, they almost look black when um, you're writing with it in a fine nib pen. So we'll get that drying and then we'll move on. I do find that to be a really pretty, pretty color. We'll see how it dries, but this is actually right up my alley. Okay, next, Private Reserve, which I don't own any Private Reserve uh, fountain pen inks. But I do like how much ink you get, and Private Reserve are relatively um, inexpensive for the amount of ink that they provide, so. I like how they have plastic around the rim of the bottle. Ooh, and they fill it to the top just about. I like the rim, so it's easy to refill your fountain pen. Private Reserve Ebony. Green. Okay, rinsing that off. And now doing the swatch. This is like a forest green to me. Almost like an enchanted forest green. Like a little bit of emerald. But very pretty. I do like, ooh, I can see some of the, um, the edging of my writing gets darker, which is something I really like when an ink does that. It shades darker on the edges of your um, your letters. So this seems like a great shader. I'm excited. I like this green. It kind of kind of reminds me of the um, pelican green color because it tends to do that as well. I can't think of the name of the green off the top of my head. So if you don't want to break the seal up top, 
You can always open it from the bottom of the box with these J. Herba inks, which I've done a couple of times. I am so excited about this because this is actually one of the J. Herba inks I do not have and I've been meaning to purchase. So I think I lucked out with this one. I am starting to really like purple inks, especially the dark purple inks. The more saturated purple inks. The only thing I'm not a fan of is the small neck here. So it's kind of difficult to um, ink up your pen because of the rim not being wide enough. Jacques Elba. And this is E I O L E T Violet Imperial. I am going to clean my brush real quick. Okay, so dipping it in. Let's see if we get, oh, this is really vibrant. This is so vibrant, it's almost looking blue in the camera. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, and I see this. I see the sparkles. Or the glimmer or the shimmer. That's pretty. Okay, so last but not least, is a Ferris wheel press ink. This one is April Showers. I want to say I might have this one already. So I do have this one already, which means I am going to give this one away. So if you're interested in this ink, please post in the comments below um, your favorite color of ink or your favorite brand of ink. And I will choose a winner um, by, uh, let's say by Sunday. And then um, I will ship it out to you, US only. Um, just because shipping overseas is quite expensive and yeah, so that's going to be the giveaway, but I'm going to get my own. So this is mine and I'm going to do the swatch with my own so that I don't, um, so it doesn't feel like I'm using the one I'm giving away. So. I've used this a couple times, but not enough to really give you the best information. Ooh, look at that. Some of the shimmer got stuck probably when I was traveling. 
and my ink may have been, um, it was in boxes, so it could have been sideways and it dried there. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, it's like stuck. Interesting. It's like stuck. It's all gunky. That's not good. I bought this ink this year. Or was it last year? It hasn't been more than a year. I haven't had this ink for more than a year. Okay. Ferris wheel press and April showers. So this one does have shimmer, obviously. It's like a silver shimmer color. Oh, now I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to swatch my swatch book or the um, onion skin paper. At the same time, while well, I had all of these out. Okay, let me use the brush to kind of Sweep all this glimmer back into the liquid. Now, Ferris Wool Press, if you're not familiar, has some very pretty inks, but I feel like they have a more light inks that are not, um, not easy to read on paper because their inks are so light. So that can be difficult when it comes to trying to figure out what you want to buy from them because obviously you'd want to be able to read what you're writing at a later time if need be. So this, I've noticed that this ink is quite light when I was writing with it, which I wasn't really a fan of. So I'm thinking maybe either I need to write on cream paper and it might show up better or um, use a thicker nib when writing um, using this ink. So it shows well when I'm using a dip pen because a lot of the ink is laid out more on the paper when you're writing with a dip pen versus a fountain pen. But there's some serious shimmer, glimmer, sparkle, however you want to call it. And I have them all laid out here in my book. But I'm going to go back and make sure to put some swatches in on the onion skin paper. So you get an idea of what it looks like there. And then I'll do swatches also on Tamoy River paper so you can see an idea and then come back and we can look at it all together. Okay, so I'm back and I want to sum up my thoughts. So uh, Monteverde USA ink, beautiful, saturated. You could see like how it pools on the edges here, which is where um, when you're writing, you can see that and it just makes the letter pop. Um, that's what I love about inks that are like this. This is my, my ultimate ink that can do that. Um, plus it doesn't have like any extra properties that make it too difficult to clean out of a fountain pen, which is, also a, a nice plus. Private Reserve Ebony Green. You can see in my hands I had a issue with um, 
<laughs> with the bottle. I think that there might be a flaw in the way that they make their caps and how the caps don't repel the ink. So when I shook the ink, some ink got into the cap and I didn't um, try to wipe the cap down before recapping and then the ink just got kind of all over the bottle because it seeped within the, um, like the, what do you call it, the grooves. And so when I shook the Monteverde ink, for instance, there was no ink in the cap because it seemed like the cap repels the ink. So no ink would just sit on inside the cap. Um, but it wasn't the same with Private Reserve. Either way, Private Reserve is a beautiful ink. I love how it pulls on the edges again, just like Monteverde Zebra. And you could see it when you're writing. There is some shading as well. And I am really excited to use so I'm really excited to use an ink like this. These two inks would be something I would put in a vacuum filler um, pen uh, because they look pretty safe. They don't have any extra properties like shimmer or sheening. Um, and so to me, that seems like it'd be easier to clean out a fountain pen that is that doesn't have those additional properties. Okay, so here it's the next one Jacobin Violet Imperial and this is such a pretty purple I it's it's gorgeous and then you could see there's some glitter in there and there is some pooling right here so you can see that how against like white paper it just pops um uh I do like this but I have to be cautious on what pens I put it in because there is shimmer. Uh, you could see the gold shimmer on this paper, the onion skin, and also on Tamoy River. Okay, my least favorite would have to be the Ferris Wheel Press um, April Showers. There is some pretty silver sparkle. You could see how much there is. And it just seems like it's gonna clog up my fountain pens. <laughs> so I feel like this is <clears throat> an ink that is best used on like craft paper if you're using a fountain pen or like like a craft envelopes or something for a special occasion with a dip pen um, or you know something you're using with a watercolor brush maybe a painting to add some silver accents would be nice. Um, but daily writing uh, doesn't seem um, promising. Um, with this ink personally, even though I, I have only used it a couple times, but it didn't last very long. I actually ended up washing out the ink from the pen. So um, yes, those are my thoughts. Let me show you some close-ups of how this, all the inks look on the papers. So onion skin, you could really see the gold and the imperial violet or violet imperial and then this one just seems kind of flat the ferris will press but these two colors are just really nice and strong and easy to read colors and then last but not least is tamoy river paper and oh look at that Look how the green looks. There's a little bit of, I guess, is that sheen or is it just shading? It's kind of hard to see it. But um, you can also see the gold in the Violet Imperial. And this last one is more like the gray April showers. And it's just, it seems a little boring to me onto my river paper. Um, but the blue and the green and the purple are just, they're just, they're beautiful. All right. So that's all I have to share with you today. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want to share some information, um, please post it in the comments below and 
Don't forget to also comment if you want to try to win this ink, um, which I will announce on Sunday, the winner. And I will have more details uh, in the description. All right. Thank you for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.